I created it in Fusion 360 and I'm personally pleased with the result. Let's start by placing two 10 kilo ohm resistors on the board, soldering them and then cutting off the excess leads with pliers. We place some headers like these and to keep them aligned we use other headers and solder them in place. We insert the headers where the Arduino Nano will go, flip the board and carefully solder to avoid bridging the solder between the pins. Following the silk screen, we place a 10 microfarad 25 volt capacitor and solder it. On the side, we solder additional headers where we will soon connect some potentiometers. We place two 6mm side buttons with four pins, attach them to the board and check that they function properly. Finally, we solder the DC power jack connector. This is how the board should look once finished. It's time to present the 3D design. I created it in Fusion 360 and I'm personally pleased with the result. In the description, you'll find a link to download this design as well as an alternative version with the arm and a separate box for the potentiometers in case you prefer not to use the printed circuit board.